1946, Winston Churchill used the phrase special relationship to describe the bond between the United States and the United Kingdom. And the mergers and acquisitions industry has certainly been the beneficiary of, of what has become the longest running love affair in cross-border M&A. We had the pleasure today of, of, of hosting several leaders of the M&A community active in the United States and the United Kingdom. And I was particularly curious to ask them to tell me more about the sameness, a term that we all often hear referred to when describing that relationship between our two countries. And in particular, what is it that's the same or different between the United States and the United Kingdom for M&A versus the United States and other international markets? Here's what they've had to say. Well, it's interesting. You know, a lot of people talk about investor confidence as being a huge driver of M&A. Um, but I actually believe that investor uh, comfort can be a big driver of M&A as well. And U.S. and U.K. relations have been so steady for so long that I think that creates a high degree of comfort and has allowed uh, M&A professionals and and companies alike to invest in understanding each other's regimes, both legal regimes as well as understanding each other's investor bases and opportunities within those markets. So that level of comfort, I think, allows people to um, be willing to do deals, even in times when markets are otherwise a little bit shaky, which is not the case for the emerging markets, for example. Um, where sometimes at the first sign of shakiness, people back off of deals and you see things go quiet for long periods of time.